Hello everyone, it is Saturday afternoon and I am going to talk a little bit about this one which is going to be a potpourri thing. Put a little bowl of potpourri there, you can put the lid on and then you'll have something that looks like a piece of art which is oozing potpourri. <laughs> I just came up with that while I was making it. But I'll tell you how I made it, and that's more interesting for you, I bet. So um, this is pretty sturdy. This is like a little helmet. I think I could put it on. It's big enough. It's, uh, I think, 20 centimeters. But you have them in all sizes. You can make them in all sizes. This little ring, I, I added that because I thought it was... You could only do this. You can because that looks kind of cute on a table all by itself. But I just thought the ring added a little something to it because it sort of gives it a little height and then you could put something more in it if you wanted to. So let's turn it a little bit that it's aligning. So that's it. So this thing, I, I made this really fast. This didn't take long at all. Um, the most work I had was enforcing it so it wouldn't collapse. So what I used is this. These are really um, cheap, uh, I don't know how you call that stuff, but these are cheap. So this one is 20 centimeters diameter and they come in two pieces. So what I did is I took this one. I pressed my flowers, you know, how I told you that you can make your own, own molds. So I'm already making new ones because I'm going to make a new one of these. Maybe a little bigger, maybe not, maybe just the same size, I'm not sure yet. But I made these molds and all you have to do is cut out the clay, press this in it, and then you replicate this. So that is so easy to do and it speeds up the whole thing. And then, of course, if you put less clay in there, you get the little ones, put more clay in, you get the bigger ones. And the less of the more clay, that determines the size of these flowery, corally things. And then you can just uh, cover your base with that. So what you do need is, I've been looking at a lot of videos, uh, especially on real ceramics. So, what they do is they make a sort of a slip, they call it slip, that is like clay really watered down, but not water thin, but like you get a sort of a paste. Well, you can do the same thing with the paper clay, the air dry clay. You can water it down that you get a sort of a paste. And then when you put them on here on your mold, you can add this paste under where all these uh, circles attach. So then you'll get more sturdiness on the whole dome thing. Um, I'm, I, I am not patient, so I was pulling it off way too fast. Then it all sort of fell apart and stuff like that. But then after I just let it dry, I took it off. And then I reinforced it with that bandage gauze. So I put bandage gauze on there, put power Powertex on it. You can also use the, the watered down uh, clay, of course, because that's gonna be sticky too. Once it's dry, you will never get those loose. It, it just can't. It's impossible that this is gonna come apart. So that was number one. Now, when you do this, you put all your flowers on, that you like it, you let it <coughs> sort of work into you, you know, that you think, okay, I'm done. Because I added the small ones I added later because I I just had a feeling it missed something. So first I only had the big ones and then later I added the smaller ones. So once you're satisfied that you have uh, what you really want, then you can cut the line. You can cut it along here and then you could just put it on the table and it will be perfectly fine. But if you are like me and you want a little bit more height, then I just took the other half, I put a line on it you know, just to give me a little direction in the height. Then I put clay around 
and then put it together, you know, that it was nice and circular and nice and straight up. And then I just put the top on it, you know, just to make sure that it's the, the width was right. So that was really easy. And then you can work with your uh, flowers or in my case, the little beads that I made on there. I made some scores like that. I put some little holes there just, you know, to give it a little bit of something different. So all in all, it was a, a nice project, which I will be doing again. Now, like I said, I am already making new molds and these molds, these are still, uh, these are from yesterday. These are, I already tested and they're really cute. Like this one made this, as you can see. So everything that has a hole in it, it will give you the bumps because you're doing the mirror. So that's really, uh, for me, I, th I thought this was really nice. So I'm going to let this one dry. Then this one I made yesterday also. It's still a little wet in the middle, so it has to dry a little bit. But that's where I made this one from. And I'm going for this. This pattern I really like. Here's a little bit bigger one. And then we have one without the middle. See here is a little middle circle going on. This one doesn't have it, only has a big circle at the end. So I'm going to do these. I'm going to use those. And I think it's going to look really pretty once I put some color on it because that's going to really make it pop because the color is going to go into all these little lines. Then when you take a sponge and wash it off, you know, everything that's in the lines will stay and everything on top will wash off and that's going to give it a lot of depth and life and that's going to really be cool. Now, this one I also made, I saw a, uh, a sculpture of, I don't know what it is, I think it's clay, I saw it online, so I, I couldn't feel it, but it was like some piece of coral, it was big, like about, mm, I'd say 20, 20 inches, nah, a little bit less, let's say 15 inches, and then it was, it, it went swaying around, it was really beautiful, you know, how they can drape the clay but in the clay there was this beautiful pattern and that's when I made this one and I've tried it out and I'm telling you this gives the most beautiful pattern and this is the fun thing about why I'm so into this clay at the moment you make your own tools and they are so cheap <laughs> because all these are molds and then of course this is also a mold but this is where you just press once and you get a duplicate. But this one gives you so many possibilities because what you do is you roll out your clay and you just roll over the, the wet clay with this and it leaves something like this. Now you can let your mind run free and get all sorts of patterns going on. You could do little dots in it that it would leave these raised dots and you could do anything you can just come up with and it will give you, this, this tool will cost you like 20 cents or something like that. Okay, I'm going to, um, at the end of this uh, video, I'm going to show you the painting I did last week, the finished uh, version of it, uh, just to, you know, sort of a roundup. And after this one, I'm going to show you another vase I made this week. And that one's going to blow your socks off because that one is really cool. So I'm going to show you that in a bit. So first the painting, then I'm going to go and do the second video. And I sure hope I can get you guys, a lot of you guys, into this. This is something you can also do with your children. And I'm pretty sure they're going to love this. Um, these I just made... See, I put my name on the back, A.R. and Maria Ridrov. So I put my name in the back because I'm going to test if I can make uh, a pendants out of these. Now that would be really cool because if it was, if it's hard enough, I'm going to test it, you know. But this one is pretty thin. I made, I think I made, oh no, these are even thinner. Uh, I should have made an even thicker one because they don't weigh much once they're dry. Once all the moisture is out of them, they are pretty light. So I could have made it just a little thicker. But I want to see what I can do with painting. And 
see if that would look really nice on a leather cord with some beading going on. I'm not sure. I, of course, I can't show you that because I packed all my beads. I got one million beads and they're all packed in boxes. Okay, so that's uh, the, the deal. So I'll show you the painting and then later on the vase. Love you all to pieces.